Hey, welcome to the news with GameTappy.com. I'm your host, Ben Davis, and here are my picks for the three best stories of the day. Starting off with a story from Joystick.com. Uh, Sony just finished their pre-Tokyo Game Show uh, press conference, and in addition to revealing the PlayStation 4 uh, release date, a bunch of new Vita consoles and colors, and a few game uh, date drops, they announced a really interesting piece of hardware called the Vita TV. Now the Vita TV is going to be a $100 micro console that will connect to your television rather than being a handheld. It will be able to play PlayStation 1 games, PSP games, uh, it can stream games from your PlayStation 4 to your uh, play PS Vita TV, and it can play some select versions of uh, PS Vita games. It runs on a DualShock 3 controller, and it's an interesting piece of, of hardware. So here's what I like about it. Now, if you are in a two-television household like, like mine, you can have your main living room that has the main television and the PlayStation 4, and you can use that for your main media hub. But let's say the wife wants to watch a television and I need to go downstairs. Well, I can set up the PS Vita TV downstairs and play games there, and in particular streaming the PS4 games to the Vita TV becomes a very interesting idea where you can still get your entertainment even if the main television is being used. Right now, it's only being uh, sold, well, it will only be sold in Japan. I'm sure it will come to the US and just annihilate all of the other micro consoles out there. But I have one major beef with it. It blocks out a lot of the Vita games because it doesn't use the touch screen, uh, the cameras, the, uh, the motion controls, and it has no excuse for any of those. With the DualShock 4 controller, you've got the touch screen, you can use the motion controls, uh, and with the PlayStation Eye, you can use the cameras. Granted, that requires everything to be up here on the main television, uh, but that gives you a Vita experience on the big screen, and that, to me, is a wasted opportunity using the DualShock 3. So, I'm still on the fence about it. We'll have to see, if, even if it's coming to the US, but if it is, a $100 micro console is not a bad deal. Speaking of not a bad deal, uh, Square Enix announced that uh, owners of the PlayStation 3 version of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, will be able to upgrade for free to the PlayStation 4 version. So most games, just to give you some context, most games are going to charge you $10 for that upgrade. The, Square says, look, you're paying us the monthly fee anyway, take it. It's yours. We want you to play it on a better console. Uh, they also announced that the beta will begin uh, in 2014, kind of hinting that the game will probably come out maybe summer or fall of 2014. Uh, so, PlayStation 3 owners, enjoy it for the next year, and then uh, at the end of, the, of your playing for the year, it will probably launch on the PlayStation 4, take your character over, play on a better graphics system. I like it. I give it one thumbs up. But I give NBC Universal one thumbs down because it turns out they're not going to kill G4 TV. Don't ask me why. Well, go ahead. You're gonna you can ask me why. I'm gonna try to give you an answer, but you can still ask me why. I don't know if I can answer all your why questions, but try. Uh, NBC Universal has decide, decided that rather than closing down the G4 TV, they are going to, and turning it into uh, Esquire Channel, they are instead going to change the style network over to Esquire Channel. But they also said they are not going to add any new programming or any uh, new studios to the G4 uh, property. Instead, you're just going to get cops. More and more reruns of cops. What a terrible show. Ugh. Hey, thanks for watching the news with GameTaffy.com. I'm Ben Davis, and I look forward to seeing you again.